Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video, which is part of a series of videos all about the Artec 261 ACDC inverter TIG welder. These videos are all showing actual real world repairs. I think I've done an aluminium one. This time I'm going to do a cast iron one. I've got a small cast iron gearbox with a piece broken off and I'm going to repair it. The repair method is going to be silicon bronze or what they call TIG brazen. I'm going to try and get some arc shots, not so much to show you how to weld, just to show you how the arc performs and what you can expect. I'm going to go right through the whole process of cleaning it, setting it up, prepping it and then actually welding it. And obviously I'm going to show you how to set the machine up. I think it's pretty obvious what I've got to do to this. It's been dropped, the machine fell over and it smashed that big lump off. It goes into there like that. This is cast iron. I'm going to give it a wash and break clean, get as much oil away as I can but the cast iron is sort of impregnated with oil that's one of the major problems of welding cast iron I'm not going to weld it, I'm going to braze it using TIG and silicon bronze so the first thing to do is like I say, get it cleaned up and then I'll lay a couple of bits out and get some really good tacks into it then I'll use the ball, ball cutter, die grind right through so I get some penetration and then what we'll do is we'll sort of preheat it and then braze it with a silicon bronze and it should affect a good repair it's obviously going to try and make it oil tight as well I'm going to make sure all the brake heat is away before I weld it because it puts out nasty fumes So that goes like that, somehow, it does fit together quite nicely, so what we'll do, we'll try and get a tack in the middle of there. Two tacks on there, it's lined up quite nicely and I've got a clamp on it so I'm going to try and put a little bit of Preheat into it, just to take the chill off it, get four good tacks on it and then see if it can go from there. Once I weld it, I'll come back and grind the tacks out, make sure I get right into there as well. Yeah, you see the crack in the bottom of the, the groove there, I'm just playing the torches on just to try and boil some of the, the side out of it, get some even heat into it. You see once it starts to but not melt will go wet there that's when you start to put the rod in into that tack now right, we'll move around now on your side try and keep it even a little bit each side we'll go down here now and we grind Put a tack on the end and make grind some of that one out. Just make sure we get all the way through.
I'm actually running this at full pedal, 260 amps to get that to run into there like that. I'm really happy with the way that repaired, that's loads of penetration, I've got plenty on. You know what I'm saying, where I couldn't actually get in, you might have to put a little bit of metal filler in there just to make it all tight, but the rest of it should be good. That's a torch I used once again, a WP20 water cool torch with a 214 mil tungsten. I really should have went up a size in tungstens because I was actually running 260 amps for quite a bit of that. A lot of power went into there. Cover it up, let it cool nice and slowly. Keep any drafts away from it and hopefully we'll have a look at it and then I was time it'll not have cracked. These are the settings I use on this Artec TIG 261 inverter welder. It's on straightforward DC TIG. We'll go around the parameters of it. High frequency start, spot timer is off. I'm using the pedal and the pulse is off and I've got the amperage set to 260 which is as much as it'll put out. And I did use the full 260 amps for possibly 10% of the time. The total welding time on that job was probably about 15 to 20 minutes. And at no point did the welder attempt to cut out due to overheating. And I only heard the fan cut in twice, so that's it shows how good the duty cycle actually is. I'm sure you'll agree that repair worked out very well. The machine worked flawlessly. I was using 260 amps for quite a bit of the time and the cooling fan only cut in a couple of times. So I'm really happy with the repair and really happy with the machine. There's a link in the description box to Artec's website. If you don't decide to buy a machine like this or any Artec product, be sure to use my name. It certainly won't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.